one one other thing it does bring us to, and, and I'd love to talk a little bit more about <clears throat> the collaboration that you both have on this on this project, because another thing that kind of emerges from a study of the master's life in the book is his relationship to the Mother Earth, which is something that probably we hardly appreciate at all or, or have even begun to realize. And I thought, Brian, maybe you could talk a little bit more about how significant this really was and how this sort of came um, to the surface as part of this collaboration together with Richard. Well, and that is a very good point. And it's very remarkable how this came to pass. Uh, but, you know, we always knew um, from Dr. King uh, forming Operation Sunbeam and uh, doing things like this that he had a tremendous regard and, and love and reverence uh, for the Mother Earth. Um, but the more that we, we studied um, him and, and, and for this biography, it, it got to be even – it seemed that it was more significant somehow, uh, his relationship uh, with the Mother Earth. And uh, you know, Richard came to me one time or, or somehow got across to me one time that, that he felt um, that there was a, a whole other dimension of um, the, this rapport between our Master and the Mother Earth – and mm -hmm. and I, I kind of I felt that that was that's going in the right direction, but I felt that you know it might 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 be a little bit too far because here's this 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 planetary being, you know, I mean how can how can that work? And then um, out of the blue, I discovered this um, address that Dr. King gave. I think it was 1979, right uh, around the time of the beginning of Operation Sunbeam Plan B, where he stated in the open in an address in Los Angeles that he was overshadowed by the Mother Earth herself. And wow. everyone who heard that didn't remember it, including myself. Um, and yet I, I was redirected to it at this exact time when we were writing that chapter. And it really confirmed uh, what we both felt was that you know, um, the Master really was, um, was almost, we think now, called to come here. Um, needed to be here um, by the Mother wow. Earth during this significant time um, of her initiation. Absolutely, and you know, I must say this was a, this is a very good example. I think it's the probably the most important example, actually, of us going way beyond where we expected to go mm. when we set about doing this biography, because. In our conversations, I mean, we'd, we'd sort of come to the conclusion, and if you think about it, the very fact, just to name one thing, that he gave his mission, Operation Earthlight, to the Great White Brotherhood, for which Lord Babaji was most grateful, you know, and they grabbed it. In, in, <laughs> yes, in a very <laughs> humble way. Um, you think, why? I mean, how, how could he know? How could he be in a position to know what the Earth wants? I mean, mm. the, the, and, and, the, and the, to know how to design the equipment, which they couldn't improve on mm. uh, for it. And it started to, you know, I, I even reached the point where I was wondering whether the timing of the initiation of Earth was set because he was here. And I, I did realize, we talked about it, and that, that is just one step too far. I mean, this is a, a, a planet and that can't be set even by the greatest of avatars. That must be set. But I definitely concluded that she wanted him here at this time. I'd go that far. That he had some kind of relationship with her before he came here. But I wanted to run it by Brian. Right. I wanted to see if I was losing it and going OTT. And, <laughs> you know, can we actually say this? And then Brian just came up with this or came to this within days this, this mm. transmission mm. that he'd been overshadowed yep. by the mother earth and you know i now only you listen to a, a for example a, a well-known uh, lecture that he gave psychic self-defense and in in there he says you know i've got a i can't remember the words but i've got a very good relationship with the mother i think he says in there because <laughs> he's talking about the divine mother principle but you think gosh you know what what, what does that really mean 